you've raised a wonderful, beautiful, independent young woman. Uh, many of you may know that Jamie proposed to Rita by writing a beautiful 26-page journal that chronicled the trip they took up the California coast into Oregon. The journal was so incredibly well written. Jamie has this innate ability to put his extensive and creative vocabulary onto paper. Rita will tell you while writing her vows the pressure she feels to demonstrate commensurate skill in her writing. I, I empathize because I feel that same pressure tonight. Uh, Vegas is taking odds on my ability to avoid crying like a baby at the wedding on Tuesday night. What are the odds? <laughs> I promise Jamie and Rita that I will be a true professional on Tuesday. I make no such promise tonight. Yay! <laughs> when I first met Rita, the two of them had just come back where is Rita? Right here. Okay. <laughs> they just come back She's from got your a back. beer festival. Needless to say, Rita was not in complete control of her faculties. <laughs> I teased her about this relentlessly over the years, especially since I'm not a drinker. But tonight, Rita, in honor of this occasion, I'd like to have Rita. Yeah. Whoa! Jamie loves her. Yeah. He loves her because she makes him happy. What more could a father ask for than to have a daughter-in-law who puts a smile on your son's face every single day? Rita is fun, she's focused, she's adventurous, and she's driven. She is convicted in her beliefs and empathetic to others' woes. And most of all, she loves my son, and that makes him deliriously happy. Jamie watching your evolution from a one-year-old angel baby to a two-year-old to a two-year-old devil baby to an elementary school blabbermouth to a junior high school pop-off to a high school success story to a motivated mature ethical and articulate man has been something any father would be bursting with pride to see and jamie i'm bursting yeah. You continue to give me daily reasons to be proud of you, the way you handle the people you interact with, the amazing group of friends that you and Rita have cultivated, both independently and collectively. I love how effortlessly Rita can interact with Jim, Zach, Nick, Brandon, Kevin, Tony, and more. And the same with Jamie toward Alexa, Nicole, Chrissy, Vanessa, Harley, Brooke, and so many more. So many kind and thoughtful people that you have surrounded yourself with because the two of you are kind and wonderful people. Jamie, knowing how much you love Rita gives me the greatest sense of joy and peace knowing you have found exactly the right person for you. Rita, and Rita, I would tell you that I'd like to welcome you to the family, but the reality is you've been a part of our family for many, many years. To Rita and Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I know you've heard, you've met me before, most of you. And thank you all for being here. It's so wonderful to come to someplace so different because because of Jamie and Rita. Um, Speak up. Okay, shut up. I would suggest after going, talking after Walt just spoke that Rita does, does her vows first. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know who's going first. What's so important is everybody that's here. And most important to us is our family. As Jamie is part of our family, I'd like to introduce my family because I think you haven't met them. So I'll start with my sister Trish. Yeah, baby. Trish, Trish, Trish. 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 And Jim, her husband Jim, they're from Michigan. My dad. My firstborn nephew, Matt. And Brandon and his wife, Dom, they all just walked in like a half hour ago. Just so you know who they are, isn't that so?
because there's no name tags, right? I'm not calling out Jan because the last time you were in the bathroom. You know, just kidding. I'm And then Jan, my husband Jan. Yeah, Jan! 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 I was like, Doug's here from two time time zones or whatever. <laughs> Trey! 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 great years coming ahead a lot of great trips right uh, Jamie and I have been here in Spain one or two times yeah, we have. we've already proven our good time worth yeah uh, and uh, and then Rita of course you know we love you and uh, that's it I mean, so, uh, let's party on congratulations you got it I'm not going to be able to ad lib it, so I wrote it. All right, so to you two, I can't believe we are finally here on this beach waiting to watch Jamie and Rita join their lives together. It's been a while. I don't know if you guys know how long. I mean, we're almost on two years. It seems like forever, a year and a half, almost two years since they thought of coming here. And Rita was tenacious about just having it here we're like okay it's covid okay okay it's a long way to go okay and she's just like i really want to do it here i just she just felt it and you know what can we blame her this is yeah. just so yeah. awesome yeah. cheers yeah. to getting us exactly what he loves about you. You bring him a place he wants to call home, a best friend, someone to love with his insanely big heart, and a cozy nest, and that's all he needs. And who could he want more than, and what could I want more for my son than that? Nothing. Jamie, when you were young, home was where you always wanted to be, always. Never left. In your own little crazy space, all cozy, safe, and filled with all of the things you loved. How wonderful for you to have found your home, your cozy space with your best friend. There are so many things I want to say to both of you tonight, but I will focus on the beautiful people that you are. There is a reason you found each other in the sea of people that are out there. God had a plan, a really big, beautiful plan. I can't wait to watch it unfold. Just the thought of the two of you traveling through life together and all that this life has to bring to you makes me smile from the inside of my heart. 
Love seems like an easy word and something easy to commit to because when you fall in love, you feel it so uncontrollably and unconditionally. It takes over your heart and your mind. But to love and commit to someone else, not selfishly for yourself, but for the love of that other person, that truly is an act of love. Love isn't always about the big things, it's about the everyday things. It's about sharing of life's little things, to always see each other and appreciate them for who they are, to allow change with the other as they grow while also grow together as a couple. That's not easy to do. Um, one, one year on a road trip with Walt and I, after about eight years of marriage, Dad and I wrote down a creed for ourselves as we were in the car. It was like, how do we want our life to unfold? What do we want it to look like? And we actually sat and wrote down a whole list of these things. And it's framed in the living room. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, but my wish for you is that all of these joys work their way into your life. And I wish you our creed. And this is what it says. Uh, we love going away together. We travel, see experience, and new things together. We raise our children in a loving home, teaching and molding as we play and learn with them. We share each other's interests and goals. We enjoy doing things with our friends. We spend time as a couple. We spend time as a family. We are best friends. Where are you all? Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, we are intimate and loving. Uh, we always try to meet each other's needs. With we, a pole between us. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> uh, we, listen, we listen to what the other is saying. We problem solve well together. We laugh with each other, not at each other. We have a financially secure relationship. We respect each other for what they are and what they want to be. We are always caring of the other's feelings. We love seeing that person at the end of the day. We share what has gone on in each other's days. Are we good? We share what has gone on in each other's days so as to include them in your separate daily life. We continue to be romantically in love. We have fun together. We have a zest for life and enjoy each day. We have inward appreciation for each other daily. We are secure in a relationship with each other and trust each other completely. We enjoy our professions. You do. And congratulations, you two. I love you both more than you will ever. Aww. Crazy. All right. Anyone else? That's it. Is that it? Because my brothers wanted to say something four hours ago that yeah. we were supposed to say something. I didn't so. say supposed to. I said you're allowed, you to, to, you're allowed to. <laughs> but of course, of course, we want to have it any other way. So, um, honestly, all I really have to say is that one of the things I've always admired so much about Jamie growing up with him is, man, how much he loves. For those of you guys that know him, he is like all in with anything that he does he loves very hard and then the other thing too is he's just unbelievably loyal um, and i know that because of the group of friends that he has obviously every one of your friends that i would imagine would be here is literally here that would come across the country to do this <laughs> the world <laughs> as you know how unprepared i am right now um but the fact but the fact that, um, you know, that I see that about you and that you're marrying a woman and a girl that has the same type of morals and values. And I don't know your friends as well, obviously, but even just getting to know everyone, it's been amazing because it feels like family more than anything else, too. So um, I hope to continue to get, get to know your side of the family a lot more, obviously, too. But it's just been amazing, even these last two days, just to get to know everyone and continue to get to know everyone. And I'm just so happy for both of you guys. And I wish you guys nothing but the best. And it's going to be an amazing ride for you guys and an amazing adventure, too. So.
Congratulations. Yeah. and I figure I'll go the other way. Yay! Oh, Yay! <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Hopefully it ends sweet and nice. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so yes, Jamie just sprung this on us, um, but I had thought about a, a few things that I might want to say. And uh, most of you, or at least on Jamie's side, know that uh, obviously I'm the oldest. I'm Jamie is my younger brother. And as the oldest, if you are an older sibling, you, you want to take care of your younger siblings, right? You want to look after them. You feel like you have more knowledge than them. You feel like you can take care of them the way they should be taken care of. And uh, for a long time, I, I believe that that was the case uh, <laughs> for Jamie's friends. Jamie was lost when he was younger. He was a little shit a lot of the time. Uh, Jamie got in fights at school where Kevin and I didn't. It was just that's how life worked. And uh, that all started to change when Jamie got to college. You saw a piece of that where it was something was different and then sorry when Jamie met Rita, something switched in his brain where he wanted to be a better person and he became a better person. And I remember um, we were sitting at Legacy and we were talking about uh, their relationship and how she was at Santa Barbara and he was, uh, you had graduated I think at the time. And he had told me that every year they would check in and they would have a, a talk with the two of them. Hey, is this something we want to keep doing? Do we still love each other? Are, are we in the same place? And it's like, holy shit, that's so mature. I'm not anywhere near that. And, and my mentality completely flipped where it wasn't me teaching Jamie anymore. It was Jamie teaching me. And as an older brother, that was a really, really cool feeling to have where he had grown into my voice of taking Vegas odds on him. He had grown into this amazing young man who loves his future wife more than anything. And uh, at, at Jordan and I's wedding a few months ago, uh, one of my groomsmen said, something to the extent of the person that you love and the person that you marry should be the one that that makes you the best version of yourself and and i think the best compliment to rita is he took uh this little shed and, and turned him into the man that he is today and i love both of you so much and i'm so happy for each of you and thank you for helping jenny mature into who he is now uh and i'm so excited for your journey so Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> He's crying too. So, okay, I mean, this is what it is, and I want to reiterate that I literally just got eyes that were like, you gotta come up here. I, had, I did not know, and neither did they, I don't think, right? See? I you didn't tell me that you were telling them that. Right, okay, on. anyway. So, exactly. So, I'm gonna make it really short and simple. Um, we all know and love Jamie and Rita separately and together. And I just want to celebrate what each of us know about them ourselves, right? It's different for all of us, but we love you guys so much. And we're all here for different reasons, but we're all here for you. So we love you.
TED Talk, TED Talk. And let's drink. And let's drink. Yeah. 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 And I think I will say something only on wedding day. You'll all be there, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, that was off the cuff. I got you. Um, but uh, I'll probably say something along the lines that it's it's absolutely been shocking to me, um, and to both of us. Uh, the lengths that people are willing to go to to be a part of what we're doing here. And, um, uh, you all, if you know me, you know how uncomfortable I have been with a lot of this. Um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's been a, uh, it's been a pretty awesome experience. I will tell you that the last three days, including today, have been, no question, the best days of my life. And I'm not even married yet. <laughs> um, and it's only going to continue to get better. Um, I've feet. had a lot of people say to me something along the lines of, <laughs> Wow, you got 80 people to come to Spain. You must Hell, have yeah. a lot of people that care about you. And yeah, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's just crazy to me. I'm still blown away by it, and I know that we're both incredibly flattered and um, honored that you guys were all willing to do what you've done to to make your way here. Um, the money that you spent, the time that you've taken from your work, the stress that you've had, and the, one of the things that's been really cool is how. Um, how loving everyone's been for this week. Uh, you, you, I guess you don't really fully realize how much people care about you until you, you, you put them in a situation where they are kind of forced to tell you how much they care about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it, it's, it's really cool. I, I, I truly I didn't, I don't think we saw this coming. And I, I pulled her aside before we started at night. I was like, this is, it's about to start. This is about to be a, about us, and it's weird, and it's amazing, and you've all done such a wonderful job of making us feel great, and um, I'm very excited to marry this person. Yeah. I'm excited to do it with all you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get her out of here. Let's get her out of here. Let's get her out of here.